again, this is the Craps Coach. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest updates and videos. And be sure to leave a comment. We do enjoy hearing from you and listening to your feedback. Okay, this is going to be a video on bivets. Um, bivets are going to be the way that you can get true odds. If you don't know what true odds are, go back and watch the video I did on true odds. It explains it fairly well. But before I get into the buy bets, I need to talk about this concept of the VIG or vigorous. This is the commission that the casino charges to do buy bets and laid bets, which will be a different video. So why do we want buy bets? Well, main reason is when we buy certain numbers, we get true odds and that is the key we're going to get the true correct odds so essentially the vigorous is about a five percent or it is five percent so on twenty dollars it's uh one dollar the casinos typically round down so 25 would still be a dollar big 30 would still be a dollar big um 35 would still be a dollar big it's not only to only when we go to 40 dollar bet that the big goes up to two dollars and you can see uh, this is 45 and this is 50 it's a two dollar so therefore at 60 which is right here it'd be a three dollar big now think about the vig so it's going to be dependent upon the casino whether the vig is paid when your buy bet wins which is the better option or if you have to pay your vig up front which is not the better option so it's going to be totally casino dependent um, a lot of places uh, the best option like i said is paying the vig on the win so you can buy the bet and not have to put the vig up front it's just taken out on your winnings so um we're going to talk briefly uh, about the buy and we're going to use the number 10 as an example so the four and the 10 are probably the most popular numbers to buy um so i'm going to say in this casino it's um you can buy a number you can buy a 10 for as little as 20 dollars. sometimes casinos actually have <clears throat> a minimum that you can buy the number at and so if you did this you would have to pay up front like in colorado here you pay up front you pay the vig up front now this number will get true odds which as you can see from the chart that true odds for four ten is uh pays two to one so on a <clears throat> on a, a twenty dollar bet you would win 40 if if the number rolled you would win twice your bet so that is an example of where you paid the vig up front and you win you get that back um if you if the vig is paid on the back end when the bet wins and you didn't pay it beforehand you would only get you would get 20 you would get uh, 20 39 back because there's five because they would take one for the vig for a buy bet of uh, $20. So that's kind of how the vig works and the buy bet works on the numbers like four and 10. And you can see from this chart that I put out, and again, kind of depending upon what the, the, how much you want to bet, because essentially you don't have to worry about betting in odd or even numbers. The best one I think is buying the four, the 10 for 35 because the dollar is still a VIG. Or sorry, the VIG is still a dollar. And you would, uh, you can see from the table here that um, I'm showing that what the difference would be between versus kind of comparing that with a place bet. So those are the two options. You can either uh, buy the number or you can simply place the number. Okay, let me talk briefly about the nine buying the nine buying the five or the nine not nearly as popular i know some casinos actually don't do that because now we're having to deal with um 
the uh, place bet versus the uh, buy bet. So again, because of the true odds on the five and the nine, the buy bet has to be in an even number. So in this case, it kind of takes out 25. That's not really an option anymore. You could buy it for 30. You couldn't really buy it for 35 and so on. And you can see from this chart, you know, what the different uh, VIGs are uh, at that, at, at the different buy bets. Some casinos I know only lets you buy the five or the nine for $60. So again, um, they're trying to get a little bit more of the commission. And you can see that the difference, again, from this chart that is displayed on the different buy bets versus what you would get on a place bet is only a few dollars compared to what the buy bet is on the four and the 10. So you can see there the two options where you're trying to maximize the VIG on the four and the 10. Uh, for example, buying the, the 10 for $55, your VIG is only two. And so you can see the difference between what a buy bet would win and what uh, a place bet for the same amount would win also. Okay, so that's kind of the talk about buying the four and the 10. Buying the six and the nine is still a, an advantage, uh, although it's just a couple of dollars here. And then also the six and the eight, technically you could buy it, but honestly, there's gonna be no difference between a place bet and a, um, and, a, and a buy bet. So to illustrate this, we're going to have to use, we'll say a $30 place bet, and then we'll use, as an example, a $30 buy bet. So we'll say the VIG is paid on the win. So in this case, the place bet, which is here, um, would win $35. This would be being paid at true odds. And again, if you look at the chart here for placing the placing versus the buy the six and eight, I only did two options, the 30 and the 60, simply because of how the odds are created. Remember, uh, when you place a number, it has to be in multiples of six. When you buy the number, it has to be in multiples of five. And 30 and $60 are, are the most common um, uh, options there there would be. Uh, in this case, uh, for every, the buy, it's true odds, for every five that is down, you win six. So in this case, you would win, you would win 36, but then the VIG would be a dollar, so you wouldn't get that, and you can see the result are the same. So this is why commonly, um, and you may get some strange looks if you do it, this is why commonly the six or the eight are not bought. Buying a number is typically the, the four and the 10. On an occasion, the five and the nine um, are, are a good option too. And I've laid out some, uh, some in the rows that are displayed in the, in the graphic what I think would be kind of the, the better ones to do simply because of um, true odds. Because again, a place bet on the five and the nine can be in multiples of five because of how it pays out. But when it comes to the buy bet, it has to be an even number uh, because the casino doesn't make change. If it were to be an odd number, it's hard to get uh, true odds in um, when you buy the five or the nine with an odd number uh, as your buy bet, hence $35 um, or 45 or 55 or 25, it just doesn't make sense. So, okay, fairly short video about buy bets, uh, how to do them, why we do them, uh, what's the purpose of them, what are the best ones to do. Um, so appreciate you joining in, watching my YouTube channel. Um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest videos and updates. And if you got something to say, make sure you uh, leave a comment. I do, I do answer the comments. Thanks for watching.